in today's video, you guys saw me plant this plot a couple weeks ago. Um, a neighbor guy uh, of mine, he's up in age and he's pretty much quit farming back here and I asked him if I could plant a plot for him and uh, that I could hunt over too with my child. So that's what we've done here. We've got something established and we've got antler grow spray here today and we are going to hit this plot and we're going to go around all the edges and hit all the brows. The brows is very important also. I mean it's going to be here when the plot isn't. You know when this gets frosted off and stuff starts to die I've got some some winter wheat and winter rye in here and, and some clover mixed in which will stay there until uh, next spring. So we're going to get to spraying, stick with us. We've got some uh, straight nitrogen urea we're going to spread on the exterior of the plot. We don't want to get that into the plot incorporated with the antler grow because it'll be too hot and it'll burn it. So we're going to sweeten it up over here and we're going to spray in here. Check it out. Now what we're about to do is spread some urea, straight nitrogen. We're going to go around the plot. We're going to stay out of the plot with it because we just sprayed the antler grow and the two together would be too hot. It would probably burn stuff. But we're going to create a difference of, uh, of palatability from the plot to this old hay field. But we're going to hit this and this should boost everything up. And we're going to just do a little test here, see what it does. We're going to It'll make, like I said, it'll make a difference, and uh, we'll see what it's see what it comes out to be. I'll update it later. That's what we've got going on guys. Right now, like I said, we've created a difference. You can see the break here of the edge of the plot. Hit it with nitrogen. We're gonna test it, see what it does, see if this pops up higher and rejuvenates this old hay field. Uh, in the meantime, we've got antler grow on this and it's gonna continue to feed it well into the fall. Um, pretty sure my boy's gonna end up shooting his doe right here. As we, uh, if you follow along, you may have seen last year where he shot his first doe it was in this field. So we're banking on that. Uh, there's going to be a rhino blind up here in the edge of the woods. And we sit there and watch this edge and they filter out before dark. Excellent spot. Thanks for watching. Any comments, any suggestions, any questions, drop them below. I'll be sure to answer them all. Thank you.